A bungee jumper jumps off a high bridge. Hmm. Living life on the edge, I see. When attached by a long elastic rope which obeys Hooke's law. So just a recap here. What is Hooke's law again? F is equal to Kx. You get that straight line graph. Okay. Gravitational potential energy of the jumper is measured relative to the lowest point reached by the jumper. All right. So maybe a drawing would help. So let's say this is your high bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is my dude. My dude is going to jump. And then there's a bungee cord. Long coil. So as he jumps, right, the bungee cord at first have no tension one. You know, you imagine this is him, then he's falling down this way. There's no tension. Eventually, the bungee cord will tighten, will begin to have tension. Okay, and then after that, it will begin to extend. And maybe at this point, uh, the bungee jumper will stop. And this is the lowest position. Okay, let me adjust the screen a bit so you can see. The whole idea is your bungee jumper, as it leaves, right? At first, the coil, the rope will uncoil. Right, so at this point, at the first drawing, T is equal to zero. Okay, and then at this point, the elastic rope begins to stretch. Hmm. So if the rope begins to stretch, uh, potential energy is begin to start in the rope. That will cause the kinetic energy of the jumper to decrease. So the jumper will begin to slow down until at this point here, my dude will stop. Stops here, stop. Uh, have you met a bungee jumper that doesn't shout? Uh, okay. So at this point, when he stops, right, the velocity is zero. It says here that the GPE of the jumper is always measured, okay, um, relative to the lowest point reached by the jumper. So this is the lowest point. All your GPE is measured from here, lah, basically. From this purple color line, okay. So let's go back to the question. Which graph shows the variation of GPE of the jumper and the elastic potential energy in the rope and the vertical distance follow from uh, vertical distance fallen from the top of the bridge. So as you can see, right, all the graphs have the same trend, meaning the full line, which is elastic potential energy, will increase and it always have this uh, brief period of time where it is zero one. So if you're wondering when that is, it would be when the rope is uncoiling. So at this point, rope is in the process of uncoiling. It's a very long rope, ma, right? The whole rope is, you know, beside the person on the bridge. So as he jumps, the rope will slowly uncoil. So the question is just about shape. Do you think that the elastic potential energy will be a straight line graph with respect to vertical distance? So vertical distance is a uh, distance measured from here. So we're going to start with uh, distance fallen. So at here, here at this point, the distance fallen, let's say I call this H, X, okay, I'll call it X. Lah. Okay, vertical distance fallen at this point here, X is zero. And you will measure X from here to here this point or maybe here this is x okay let me zoom out a bit nah this whole thing is x okay we measure relative to the lowest point so at any rate to know whether it's a straight line or not is to decide whether the graph energy against distance is a straight line or not use an equation elastic potential energy <coughs> epe is equal to half kx squared. Okay, as long as it obeys Hooke's law, you can use this equation. You can also use this equation. You see this x squared here? So x squared graph must be a curve, right? So the straight line one can throw away. So it must be a curve. 
It must be a curve. Curvy graphs are the best. Chop, chop. Okay, now is to ask ourselves, what about GPE? Is GPE a straight line with distance or is it a curve? Now, GPE equation is equal to MGH or in this case, MGX. Okay, it really depends on relative motion where you measure, but this thing is distance. Okay, so if my friend, my dude here, is going to fall a distance of X, let's say from here, to, from the top to here, this X is the change in GPE. So in this case, this one is linear. Okay, I'm going to take the linear trend. Nah. Linear? Lo. Okay, so the answer here would be A. <clears throat> okay, use equation to decide whether the graph is a straight line or a curve. But if let's say I give you some situation where the energy increase, decrease, the trend is different, then you may need to analyze. But it kind of makes sense, right? Uh, the elastic potential energy is zero and then reach a point here where the rope begins to stretch. Here is where the rope begins stretching. So, so it will stretch in the relationship of x squared, okay? The increase in elastic PE. And also at the same time, the GPE will decrease. Now, I want you to think about how does the Ke graph change, the kinetic energy graph? You think about it, lah, okay? I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.